Shocking video of the raid of the Mexican embassy in Quito by Ecuadorian security forces last Friday. Released by Mexico's president, the video is edited and set to music. It shows armed Ecuadorian police climbing over the walls, then forcing their way into the building. They were looking for a wanted man, former Ecuadorian Vice President Jorge Glass, twice convicted of corruption. Mexico just granted him asylum. They seized and carried him out of the embassy. Shoving and knocking the Mexican head of mission Roberto Canseco to the ground as he tried to stop them. President Andres Manuel López Obrador says that the seizure and the storming of the embassy is against international law. This is about a violation, not just against the sovereignty of our country, but the right of asylum, the right of all countries to protect their embassies. Most of the Latin American region agrees with him. Countries on the left and the right, from Brazil to Argentina, condemned Ecuador's actions and the Organization of American States, the OAS, began on Tuesday two days of meetings to address the incident and the rules for diplomatic relations and asylum. Speaking at the OAS meeting, Ecuador's representative remained defiant saying Mexico violated the principle of non-intervention by protecting glass. It is not legal to grant asylum to those people who have been convicted or under indictment for crimes or by regular uh, competent uh, courts. We hope that Mexico would comply with uh, these rules when it came to Mr. Glass. And we can see that they did not respect this and he cannot in any way be considered as a political prisoner. At the White House on Tuesday, the National Security Advisor condemned Ecuador's actions. We've reviewed the security camera footage from the Mexican embassy and believe these actions were wrong. The Ecuadorian government disregarded its obligations under international law as a host state to respect the inviolability of diplomatic missions and jeopardize the foundation of basic diplomatic norms and relationships. Mexico says it's now readying its case to go to the International Court of Justice. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.